An unexpected yet intriguing fact to start. Colonel Muammar Gaddafi, the longtime ruler of Libya, was an avid lover of flamenco dancing. Yes, you heard it right. This enigmatic leader, known for his flamboyant style and controversial politics, harbored a fondness for this passionate Spanish dance form. Born into a Bedouin family in the deserts of Libya in 1942, Gaddafi's early life was far from the opulence he would later come to embody. His family were nomadic herders, living a simple life, a stark contrast to the flamboyant and luxurious lifestyle he would later adopt. Gaddafi's political journey began in earnest at the Royal Military Academy, where he formed a group of revolutionary-minded peers. In 1969, a mere six years after graduating, Gaddafi led a bloodless coup against King Idris of Libya, successfully taking control of the country at the tender age of 27. Gaddafi's rule was characterized by his unique political philosophy, which he called the Third Universal Theory, a blend of socialism and Islam. He detailed these ideas in his Green Book, which became a staple in Libyan schools and institutions. In the mid-70s, Gaddafi took his flamboyance to new heights or rather lengths by constructing the Great Man-Made River. This ambitious irrigation project, dubbed the Eighth Wonder of the World, aimed to make the desert bloom. In the early 90s, Gaddafi's international reputation took a hit when Libya was implicated in the Lockerbie bombing. Nevertheless, he managed to rehabilitate his image somewhat in the early 2000s, by renouncing weapons of mass destruction and normalizing relations with the West. Yet the Arab Spring of 2011 brought his reign to a dramatic end. This marked the conclusion of Gaddafi's four-decade rule. In summary, Gaddafi's life was a fascinating blend of contradiction and flamboyance. From his humble Bedouin beginnings, Gaddafi rose to become the leader of Libya, implementing his unique political philosophy, while indulging in his passion for flamenco and grand construction projects. His rule came to an abrupt end with the Arab Spring, but his legacy, for better or worse, continues to shape Libya. This journey through Gaddafi's life has shown us a man who was more than the caricature often presented in the media. He was a leader with a unique vision, a flamenco enthusiast, and a man who despite his faults, left an indelible mark on his country.